Hi, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're gonna take a tour of my trap case. We're gonna look at what I bring with me to every gig. So if I'm playing my own drums, or if I'm playing backline drums, or rental drums, or wherever I'm going, I bring this trap case with my cymbals, my snare, my bandero, my stick bag, my cowbell, and this comes with me. And this also helps me maintain a level of consistency so that no matter what I'm playing or where I'm playing, I at least have these personal elements with me. If you're enjoying this video and my channel, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I'm coming out with new lessons. I'd also like to let you know about my ebook. It contains over 300 pages featuring tons of knowledge that I've acquired over my 30 year drumming career. Right now I'm running a special offer on the ebook and you can get that by clicking the link in the description. So please enjoy this video. All right, we're gonna take a look inside of my trap case and I travel the world with this and bring this everywhere I go, no matter if I'm playing my own drums or if I'm playing a backline kit. Today we are at world famous Tip Atinas, and this is the backline kit here at Tips. And I'm gonna show you how I take a simple backline kit from a backline company or what's provided at a festival or at a drum shop for a masterclass and how I take my cymbals, snare, pondero, cowbell, and stick bag and turn this into my own personal setup. So this is on wheels and I can wheel with this through airports and anywhere I'm going. And then this handle pulls down like that. And then we're gonna take a look at what's inside of here. So I open this up. So in here I have my snare, pondero, hi-hats, and tambourine. And I carry all of that together in this case because then I can pull this out and it is exactly 20 pounds. And that makes the whole case 50 pounds to check it. And then when I put this back in, it makes this whole case 70 pounds, pretty much to the nose. So in here I've got my hi-hats. I've got a tambourine that I always like to have with me. I've got my Pondero, signature Pondero. And I've got my four and a half by 14 Stanton Moore Drum Company snare drum made out of titanium. And on top of this, I like to keep a big fat snare drum so that I can get a different snare sound all out of one snare drum. Also in here, I have my stick bag, and I'll give you a tour of the stick bag in another video, but this is my stick bag with all of my tools that I need in here. And I have my cymbal bag inside of here, and I've got all my cymbals inside of this bag. I've got a 22 inch Zildjian custom made cymbal for me, and I've also got my 20 inch Lunar Crash which just came out in the concept shop. This, this thing is wonderful. Lunar crash that I helped design with the good folks. And then I've got a 20 inch. This is custom made for me, but it's pretty much a thin corrope. And then under here, I've got my cowbell mount and my ES7 cowbell with some gaff tape on it. So there you have it. These are the things that I put up on a kit, whether it's my shells and hardware or it's backline or rental shells and hardware. I like these things because these are my cymbals that are very personal. Cymbals are always personal to the drummer. So I've got cymbals that I've hand selected and I always bring those with me. I like an ES7 cowbell with a lot of gaff tape on it. Sounds different than any other type of cowbell. So I like to bring that with me. Of course, my Pondero is different and no other place is gonna have that unless maybe I show up to a drum shop and they've got one. 
And then my snare, of course, is unique. And those are all the things that are very personal to my style and my personality musically. So I always bring those with me. And no matter what drums and stands I'm playing, these come along. And then I sometimes get the question or the comment, why don't you have a drum tech? And that's a great question. And the answer is, I often do. If we're on tour with Galactic and we're in the bus and we've got all our own gear, I don't touch the drums until I sit down at sound check. And then I'll go and I'll get something to eat right after sound check. Then I like to take a nap. And then I wake up about 45 minutes before the gig. I make an espresso. We have our own espresso machine on the bus. And I'll make an espresso, everybody's making espresso, and I'll eat three chocolate covered espresso beans, and I hit the stage, amped and ready to go, having a nice little nap, and I didn't have to move or touch drums all day long. But then sometimes we're flying in to a festival, and on sets like that, we wanna bring a minimal skeletal crew, and we bring two people usually, and then they'll put the stuff up for me, and I show up, but then I've gotta tune stuff, and I've got to position things. So even though they set up everything for me, I still got to fine tune it. So we did a video with what I like to do right before we start to play at a festival. And in a situation like that, I've just got to tune and position stuff. I still don't have to really set up anything. So I do have a lot of help, but you know, keep in mind, I'm a working drummer, right? I'm not a rock star. So I don't just show up and everything's done for me. Sometimes there's a little bit of assembly required. And so sometimes on fly dates, I've got to show up and dial things in a little bit. And that's because we're traveling with a small crew and we're trying to take home as much take home pay as possible. Because keep in mind, we're doing this for a living. So sometimes I have a crew that sets up everything and it's lovely. Sometimes we got a small crew and I've got to do a little bit of the work so that we can all return home with a little bit of something. So thank you all for tuning in. And if you liked this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I'm putting out more videos. I'm constantly putting out lessons and behind the scenes footage. So. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you down the line. Yes, indeed.